Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a pegboard toy level one. So I brought this to my startup screen, and level one pegboard requires three parts. One part is the round peg, the second part is a square peg, and the third part is the actual pegboard. So I'm going to start a new part. So I'm going to go up here and click new just to make sure. I'm going to click English, and we want to make sure it's in English and it's a standard. IPT so double click on that so we're gonna start a new sketch and I'm gonna do this on the XY plane doesn't really matter which plane but for this one it just makes it easiest on the XY uh, this is the round peg so I need to make a circle and that circle according to the instructions say that it's supposed to be one inch in diameter diameter is the distance across the circle so my circle is one inch in diameter I finished sketch and I want to extrude that um, circle out three inches. And if I click that home button, this is what it's supposed to look like. I am going to save this, and it tells us to save it as round peg. And I've already saved one as round peg, so I'm going to save it as round peg and then a dash mark. Uh, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say save, and I need to replace mine. So that's done. Now I need to make a new part. We're going to do the square peg. So I'm going to go up here and click on the new again. Make sure it's English, standard IPT, double click. This time I'm going to start a new sketch again. I'm going to start it uh, in the XY plane. And I'm going to make a rectangle that is one inch by one inch. Enter, finish the sketch. And this is what it looks like. I need to extrude it according to the instructions to say three inches. And I click my home button and now my square peg is done. I'm going to save it. I can do a control S or I can just click the save button and I'm going to name this square peg. And I'm going to put a little dash there because I've already have a square peg saved and say save and it's done. I need to do a new part to make the peg board. So I'm going to click new and then standard again, double click on that. And I'm going to do a new sketch. Now, this is where it gets a, if you don't use the right sketch plane, it could potentially cause some problems in the end. So I'm going to click new sketch and I want to do this on the XY plane. If this doesn't look right when you're doing it, then you need to redo it on another plane. So this is the peg board. This is the actual peg board that we're going to drill holes into here in a little bit to fit those round and square pegs. So I'm going to click rectangle. And according to the instructions that you were given, it should be five space three quarter inch width. Okay, and then I'm going to tab over, and the height of it should be 0.75. And then I'm going to go to the front, make sure it looks right. Yeah, finish sketch, and then I'm going to click the home button. Now, when I extrude it, it should extrude. I'm going to click it to go the other direction. So I'm going to click this guy right here. It's just going to take it the other direction in four inches. Oops. Um, so you should have clicked four inches. I'm going to go back. I must have hit something wrong. Edit feature. And we'll make sure this says four inches. There you go. So this is what yours should look like. I did it wrong again. This actually should be three inches. According to the instructions that you got, it should be three inches. That is what it should look like. Okay? So I'm going to undo, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to extrude that. Again, I'm going to go the other direction to three inches. Didn't do it again. I'm going to go back one more time. Sorry about that. Extrude it. And want to go the other direction, and it should go three. So my three is not working. That's the problem. I'm going to go to three inches, and that's what it should look like. Okay. So now we have our pegboard, but on this pegboard, we have to actually make the round and the square peg. So I'm going to right click on the top of this, do a new sketch, and on that new sketch, I'm going to drill, actually, I'm going to draw the circle and the square. So I'm going to click the circle and I'm just going to get it close and the if it's a one inch round peg I need to make a hole that's also one inch. There's that 
And if it's a one inch square, one by one inch square, I want to make a one inch one inch by one inch hole. This time I'm going to create a rectangle with two point center. And this just allows us to be able to uh, dimension easier. So when I do this, it it moves out from the center. So this is going to be a one by one inch square. And say enter, and there they are. Now for the dimensioning, I know that this from here to here is five and three quarters, and I want this to go um, ha halfway across this side. All right, so I'm going to give you the dimensions. I'm going to go from here to here, and I'm just going to give you a 1.4. It's really close to being where it's supposed to be. Same thing for this side, 1.4 to the center of that. 1.4, enter. From the top, since from top to bottom it's three inches, from top to the center I want it to be 1.5. And the same thing for this guy right there. Top to the center, 1.5. We're done with that. We're going to finish the sketch and we're going to extrude our holes. Notice I clicked extrude and now I need to click on the circle and the square. They went the wrong direction, right? So now I need to click on this cut, the second one down, and it cuts it through. Notice how it cut a long distance. All we have to do is go up here to distance and just say click all, and now it clicked through the entire thing and say okay. Now our holes have been cut out, and now we have our pegboard done, we have our round peg uh, made, and our square peg made. Now we need to create a whole new um, part. Okay, so in this, if this comes up, we're not going to click a part. We're actually going to click an assembly, in a standard assembly right here. So I'm going to click that, double click that, and now I've got, this looks a little different than when we were working on parts. All right, so now I'm going to go up here and in the component panel, I'm going to click place, and I'm going to place uh, my pegboard, there it is. Actually, uh, I need to go back and I'm going to cancel this. I need to go back to part six and save this because I did not save it. So I'm going to control S and I'm going to call this pegboard with a little dash beside it and say save. Now I need to go to my assembly, place my pegboard with a little dash on it. There it is. And say open. Place it in there, notice what happens. Okay, go back up to place. I want to place my um, round peg with a little dash beside it. There it is. Okay, and then go back up here to place. I want to place my square peg with a little dash beside it. Your guys might not have dashes beside it, which is fine. Okay, so now all of the parts, I can right click and click escape. And now I'm going to constrain this part into this hole and this square into that hole. By doing that, I'm going to click Constrain. I'm going to make sure this first one, Mate, is clicked. And notice when I go over here to this peg, it has a white dash line through it. Click on it. And notice when I go to the hole, it gives me also a white dash line. Click on that and say OK. Now it's done. With this, notice that when I move this up and down, the whole pegboard moves. If I click on the pegboard and it turns blue and I right click on it, I can go to grounded and it now I can move this and the pegboard doesn't move. That's what you want. Now I need to constrain the square peg. So what I'm going to do is I clicked on constrain. I'm going to make sure that the mate is clicked on. I need to click on a side of the square peg. Let's click on that side and I want that to be uh, constrained to this side of the hole. So I click OK. All right, so click OK. Now, if I try to move this around, notice it stays on that plane, but it's not constrained there. So now I need to constrain it again the second time, and I'll make sure that that is, uh, the mate is clicked, and then I'm going to click on this side, and then I'm going to click on this side of the hole, and say OK. Now if I go home, that is constrained, 
that is constrained. You are now, let's save it. So we're going to save this as pegboard assembly. Actually, you can just name it pegboard. Um, pegboard toy, and I'm going to put a little dash beside it and say save. And there you are. You're done with level one if it does that, and your dimensions look like that.